Maypole. The Maypole is an excellent way to link all the participants in a group to the multiple high C, which raises the consciousness of all of them and ensures the guidance of the high C than whoever is the facilitator of the group. Story time. So when Phyllis and Virginia, who was her partner in developing the cutting the ties that bind method, now called the Phyllis Crystal Method. They would work together. This was in 50s and 60s, 1950s, 1960s. Minister of a church approached both of them saying, when we get together in congregation, we join our hands uh, together and then we do the prayers. And out of Phyllis's mouth came, no. And Phyllis had no idea why she responded like that. And out of her mouth came, hold your hands up, not hold your hands down. Because when you're holding your hands down, it is bringing the energy of the group to the lowest common denominator. That it is bringing the energy of the group to the person who has the lowest energy. So whereas when you are joining your hands and physically holding it higher or up, then you're bringing the energy of the group to the energy of the person who has the highest energy in the group. And that was the inception or the formation of the maypole as she received from the high sea. Maple is something that, that you can see in Europe, I believe mostly in Germany, where in the town squares or the village squares, uh, there will be this maypole, which is a pole with multiple ribbons around it that marks the beginning of spring. So the children would gather together and hold a ribbon and go around in a circle and marry and be happy. And all the ribbons are connected to a pole, something on top, usually a star or a princess or something. The purpose of this is that when we are coming together as a group, how can all of us be connected to that higher self, that higher source? And this is a symbol that helps us connect. Uh, the Phyllis Crystal Method deals with symbols or pictures, which is the language of the subconscious mind. First step, uncross your legs if they are crossed. In other words, don't put your one leg on top of the other. With the feet firmly on the ground to allow the proper flow of energy through the body to take place. When we're sitting in a pretzel position or the Sukhasan or Chonkri Marke Batna, that is fine. Now, some of you will say, then, can I do the maple while lying down? Yes, you can. And that's okay. But when you're sitting down, you uncross your legs. Let your hands rest in your lap with palms up like little bowls or cups ready to receive from the high sea. So just remember, energy is not blood flow. Energy also means the energy that flows from all the seven chakras, from Muladhara chakra to all the chakras, seven chakras. So our spine is straight. When we're sitting down in the Padmas in that lotus position, your, all the energy centers are aligned. So the energy flows very nicely. Hands in the open bowl position, sometimes people go into some kind of a mudra, some kind of a position. This is not prescribed by Phyllis. If you choose to do that, that is your choice, not a problem. The main thing is it is not, not facing down in any way. It is facing up, ready to receive from the high sea. You can keep the eyes open or closed. The entire Phyllis Crystal method, there may be some exceptions here and there, in general can be practiced with your eyes open or closed. Very similar to when you visit a temple, mosque, or church, you communicate with your God with your eyes open sometimes and with your eyes closed sometimes. Whatever you prefer, whatever feels right, and you can change from day to day. You can, and what Phyllis would suggest, try it both ways and see which one you like. Whatever is more comfortable for you. So another part of this Phyllis Crystal method is people say, which one is right? And the right way, so as long as you're following the instructions correctly, the rest is whatever is comfortable for you. What is comfortable for one person may not be comfortable for somebody else. Just because one person does it that way, try it out for yourself and have your own experience. Think or imagine a maypole in the middle of a room, of the room, with many different colored ribbons hanging from a sphere at the top, which represents the high C. So the look at the language, think or imagine, think or imagine or visualize. So whatever is happening, the maypole is not physically present in this room. 
It is happening in my mind, in my inside, in my imagination. This dimension is more mental dimension. It's not a physical dimension. So most people just use their imagination, but some people are not visual or not imaginative. And that's why the word think. We all think. If we could not think, we would not be here. So we can all think of these instructions. Think of a maypole in the middle of the room. Okay. I thought about it. Now, for the rest of the instructions, the word imagine is used universally, but it can easily be replaced with think or feel or visualize or imagine. Imagine you're walking up to the maple and choosing a ribbon of whatever color appeals to you. So you go up, you see multiple in your mind's eye, or you can think about it. Oh, which ribbon do I want to? Today I want to pick up a purple ribbon. Okay, that's fine. Whatever you feel like. Yeah. Be very childlike, very playful, very free. Hold the ribbon loosely in your hand and imagine you are walking back to your seat, connected by your ribbon to the high seat. You wrap that ribbon around your fingers, yeah, and you come back to your seat in your mind's eye. Then there's a question of what color, what is the significance of this color? Don't worry about it. You can even change your mind in the middle of choosing a color. Next time you can choose a different color. It's, it's fine. Whatever comes to your mind, follow it. In your imagination, walk back into your seat, connected to your ribbon to the high C. As if it were a telephone connection between you and the high C. So this ribbon that we are connected with through the maple is like the Zoom connection. You see, we're all connected to each other via Zoom. Is it a physical connection? No. Same way Maypole works. By holding on to a ribbon, we're able to connect all of us connected to the high C at the inner level. The same way there is a Zoom technology, the same way there is a Phyllis Crystal method technology. In the Zoom technology, we're able to connect through the internet on the cyberspace. Through the Maypole, we are able to connect with the inner net not internet, internet, not a cyberspace, but our inner space. And all of us are connected with the high C. And all of us are connected with this particular Zoom meditation session. Similarly, now, if you wish, you can ask for any other symbol of the high C to appear at the top of the maple to make it more real. So at the top of the maple is like a ball of light, like a globe of light, almost like a mini sun. This golden uh, globe of light is a universal symbol for the high C, very similar to the way we light a lamp. That jyot or lamp or candle symbolizes the high C. Same way, this golden globe of light symbolizes the high C. If you have your own Ishtadev, Satya Sai Baba, Shirdi Sai Baba, Jyotamali Mata, Jesus Christ, Allah, Mother Mary, Mahavir Shiva, Gayatri Mata, whatever have you, your own Kul, Kul Guru, it could be uh, the Guru of your own household. There is no measurement in terms of this is a higher God, this is a lower God. All of these are symbolic in nature, whatever helps you connect with your high C. And Phyllis would even use the term that sometimes it is your own cat or dog, if that is what helps you connect to your high C. So be it, it's symbolic. You can ask High C to give me a symbol of High C. You see, it's so beautiful. You can ask High C, reveal yourself. Give me a symbol. Here you are asked to put a symbol for High C, but to even get that, you can ask the High C, give me your symbol. It's beautiful. So it is highly personalized and highly interactive. Now observe how each one of us are, is forming a triangle with everyone else in the room via a ribbon. Now I am connected to the High C via a ribbon. You are connected to the High C via a ribbon, right? So that makes a triangle. If I am A, high C is C, and you are B. So we are in a triangle A, B, C, A, B, C. Each one of us are making a triangle through the high C with each other. Let us give over the direction of this meeting to the high C and request its guidance. that all of us are following the guidance of the high C, not the facilitator or each other. No pressure, no peer pressure here. Now, ask the high C to send down your ribbon, relaxing energy while breathing in. As you breathe out, let go of any tension or stress you may feel in any part of you. 
whether it is physical, mental, emotional, or any other, for two or three breaths. Our prana shakti, our life force, rides on the horse of our breath. Through the breathing exercise, we're able to have this exchange of this various energies. We're using our breath in this entire role, breathing in whatever we want and breathing out the opposite of what we want. Breathing in what we want, breathing out whatever is blocking us from receiving it. Breathing in what we want and breathing out what we don't want and so on and so forth. Same way we breathe in oxygen, we breathe out this spent carbon dioxide. So I'm just only explaining. You, can, you guys can continue practicing at the same time if you like it. I'm going to focus in this particular forum right now just on explaining it. So we have enough time to explain it. So the five energies will exchange in the maple. The first one, obviously, breathing in relaxing energy and breathing out any kind of tension or stress. <sighs> it's good to breathe out with a sigh. Let go. And we can spend as much time in any one of these five energy exchanges. Take your time. You want to do it for a couple of breaths? Fine. You want to do it for a lot longer? Also fine. Sometimes you want to focus just on the physical aspect of it? Fine. I'm physically feeling just tension. You can, you can actually physically get relieved. You can get rid of the stress physically. Mentally, we can reduce our stress. Emotionally, we can reduce our stress. Then ask for healing energy to be sent to you from the high sea down your ribbon. So what is happening? Where is the healing energy coming from? The healing energy is coming from the high sea. Well, how is it coming to us? Through our ribbon connection. How are you hearing my voice sitting in India, sitting in UK, sitting in other parts of the country? Through the internet connection. If that is possible, that is true. The same way this maypole practice that came from the high sea is a tool for us to connect with the high sea and receive and release various energies. We can receive these energies from the high sea. Just because physically you don't see doesn't mean it doesn't work. Just because some of you are not, nobody is physically present with each other, but we all feel each other's presence. We can hear each other. Same way, the maypole also work at the inner level, inner net, not internet, but inner net. Not outer view, but inner view. We are having this inner view, inner view with the high sea. Then we ask for the healing energy to be sent from the high sea down the ribbon. We all need healing, whether it is physical, emotional, mental. Breathe the healing energy in and breathe out any distress or unease you may feel in any part of you for a few breaths. Step 11, ask the high sea to send cleansing energy into you to remove any negative memories, thoughts, feelings, or conditions that you're ready to release. So in this case, just the way we take a physical shower, we cleanse ourselves. In this case, we're going through inner cleansing. We all have negative thoughts, negative feelings, negative emotions, dark feelings. That also means we, including things like depression, sadness, feeling bad about ourselves, feeling sorry about ourselves, and feeling bad about a situation, feeling helpless about a situation, feeling powerless about a situation. All these are negative thoughts, feelings, and emotions. We don't know what to do with them sometime when we, we all go through it. Right now, just the pandemic itself has created a global stress in all of us in some way. We can cleanse that those negative thoughts, negative feelings, negative emotions, anything that brings me down, I can cleanse it out, taking an inner shower and with the outgoing breath, releasing that, whatever the negativity is, anything that brings me down, breathe it out. Then we ask the high C for strengthening or re-energizing energy to flow into you as you breathe it in and while breathing out, let go of any weakness, exhaustion, or even feeling of tiredness. So we all understand the physical level of weakness and physical level of strength. So one question usually comes in, how can this energy give me physical level of strength? Try it out. <laughs> it works. You're physically feeling tired, you can do the maple and breathe in this uh, strengthening energy from the high sea 
and breathe out the weakness, you will feel rejuvenated physically. But we also receive this strength of resolve, strength of mind. We also receive emotional strength. We all need that inner strength to do our life work, to do things that matter in our lives, which is beyond just earning money and doing our familial duties. Finally, you now let us ask the high sea to pour into each one of us its unconditional love, which is non-judgmental and fully accepting. So here is it. What kind of love to receive from the high sea? Unconditional, which means I don't need any conditions or qualification. Oh, this person is more deserving of receiving love from the high sea. This person is less deserving of receiving love from the high sea. No such thing. Do you have to be a good devotee of high sea? No. Do you even have to be a devotee of high sea? No. Does it matter if you're a better devotee of high sea? No. <laughs> it's unconditional. There are no conditions attached. Ask and you shall receive. That's what it means. We are practicing ask, you shall receive through the maple. We all done things in our lives and said things in our lives, which we're not very proud of. We feel guilty or whatever it is. Or so other people have made us feel guilty. But this one is non-judgmental, fully accepting. I see accepts me just the way I am, fully, unconditionally, without any judgment. Breathe it in deeply and let it circulate throughout every part of you and breathe out anything that could prevent you from receiving this precious gift such as. Now, what do you breathe out? Guilt, feeling of unworthiness, low self-esteem, anything that comes in the way of us receiving, receiving this pure and conditional divine love. Continue to breathe in this energy as you breathe out. Release anything negative from the past. So we tend to store past memories which are unloving. We can release it here. We soak in this pure and conditional love from the ocean of love. To keep the love flowing and life supporting, it must be shared with others. Don't monopolize just because I received love from the high sea. Don't keep it to yourself. Share it. Because if you don't, it will actually harm you. That's the key. To keep the love flowing and life supporting, it must be shared with others too. So ask the high seat to bring to your attention those people whom you know personally, such as relatives, neighbors, co-workers, friends, acquaintances, people who serve you, etc. But also remember to include those with whom you have a difficult relationship or problem. And those you do not like, or those you think do not like you. All of it. Not just the people you love, but also people you don't like. We all have people in our lives who we really don't like or who we think they don't like us. Well, what to do with people like that in our lives, right? This is an opportunity for us too, because it's very hard to love those people who don't love you. Very hard. Then what do you do? <laughs> so we don't have to send our love to them. We can send the love from the high sea to them. So breathe in love from the high sea. Place your palms together and fingers extended. Point them to each one. And move on quickly to the next one, as it only takes a moment to direct this precious gift. So as I breathe in love from the high sea, I point to each person. So imagine I'm sending this love to my younger son, older son, my older brother, my oldest brother, my sister, nephew, brother-in-law, my father, etc. I keep on moving from one person to the other. Then I can, uh, let's say, imagine somebody at work who I do not like, who I think doesn't like me, right? I direct this love to that individual. Then you put your palms back down on your lap to receive. Ask the high C now to bring to your attention groups of people gathered together in one place desperately needing this love to give you some suggestion. Homeless groups, Anath Ashram, people in prisons, hospitals, people in the homes for the elderly, nursing homes, orphanages, or wherever people are gathered together in one place where they are lonely, sick, depressed, feel unloved, and desperately need this love. Some of us don't have time or resources or ability to go serve these people. Some of us find it very difficult to do that. But we can do it through the maple. But Phyllis had told me that this is the best seva we can do. Because what are we giving them? We're giving them the highest of all energy, the love from the pure unconditional love from the high sea. That's the highest of all energies available to us in this universe. So as soon as you're ready, place your palms together, fingers extended, point to each group to send the love from the high sea. So to give you an example, when I do that, there's a hospital in our neighborhood. I immediately send love to that hospital. And there is a homeless shelter. We go do seva sometimes. Now, remember another big hospital in New York City we used to do seva before. 
And then I think of jails and asylums and uh, nowadays refugee camps in Europe uh, from Syria to Ukraine and so forth, right? And likewise, you may have other groups of people in mind. Uh, I know nursing homes and old age homes and so forth. This is our opportunity to do quick seva, which is, takes literally a second. Then as to be shown any places in the world where there is warfare, terrorism, suppression, where people are suffering from the hunger, illness, persecution, natural disaster, or any other distress and direct this powerful energy to them, but also include the leaders of these countries because they have the power to make the necessary changes some examples. Nowadays, there's a war-like situation. There's a war between Ukraine and Russia, we know that, and Russia and some of its neighboring countries, including US, <laughs> which is sending some uh, weapons uh, to the European countries to fight against uh, Russia and supporting Ukraine, and so forth. You breathe in love from the high sea, you send it to, I send it to Russia, to Ukraine, and also to the presidents of the both countries, Zelensky and Putin. So, because when their hearts, the leaders' hearts are filled with the love from the high sea, then they will make the right decisions for their people. They will make the best decisions. Some of us are people from Indian descent, send it to the current prime minister, which is Modi, send it to your country. Yeah, If it is Biden, whichever country you live in, so we no longer feel powerless. So we know there's a situation going on in Sri Lanka. We can send love to that country. We might have seen or heard in news, whether it is um, bushfires in California and because of summer heat, a lot of stuff going on. So when you hear some news and you feel like, I don't know what to do with them, or the situation we feel really terrible. So instead of feeling bad, you connect with the high sea, breathe in love from the high sea and send it to them then you don't feel bad anymore. You're doing something. Yeah? That's all we care. We no longer should feel powerless ever in this planet Earth. Oh, just because I cannot travel, just because I... Eh, no reason. Oh, I am not trained to do this. Oh, no reason. Connect with the high sea through the maple. Breathe in love from the high sea and quickly send it to those people. Move on to the next and move on with your day. And now we need to send the love to ourselves. So, if, so you see, it comes back complete circle. So if you wish, you can put your arms around yourself as if giving yourself a hug and then say first silently, but really meaning it, I love me. And then aloud, I love me, repeat three times. So you hug yourself. So you see, we're making a complete circle coming back to ourselves. We need to love ourselves. Some of the spiritual people, good people, they tend to do so, so much good in the world that they feel bitter because they don't give love to themselves. They don't love them. They don't give time to love themselves. What does loving myself mean in practice is doing something that you love and doing something that makes you happy. That is impractical. Having your chai, coffee, herbal tea, water, drink, whatever you want, and having some food that you like, for example, going to places with friends, doing something that you love. Some people do yoga, some people do, do dance, some people do meditation, whatever it is for you, or some people play video games, whatever it is that is entertaining for you, without judging it, that is loving myself. And then saying it affirmatively, I love me, first in my mind. And really, even if it feels funny, start doing it. It felt really funny to me in the beginning when I first got into it. I'm like, I love me? What does it even mean? I mean, that doesn't even mean anything to me. I love someone. I understand that. What do you mean by I love me? Just go through the process. Allow yourself to take whatever time it needs to sink this new concept inside of you. I love me. It may take years and it will evolve deeper and deeper. This concept of I love me. I love me is a mantra, just like Gayatri mantra. This is a modern mantra. I love me. Look at that. When I say I love me, I'm hearing it. My ears are listening to, oh my God, I, who loves me? Someone loves me, right? Isn't it? My, my, my ears are hearing that someone loves me. But think about it, someone telling you, I love you. Yeah, how you feel. You feel amazing. And I am making myself feel amazing by hearing it, that someone loves me. It makes me feel good. I love me. 
And in this case, it's actually super powerful because who is this I principle? That I principle is my true self, is my high C. What I love me really means is the high C loves me. Because what are we doing? We are receiving the love from the high C and giving it to ourselves. <laughs> you can even say, God loves me, high C loves me. But better than that, I love me. Affirmatively. Mm, the I principle is the strongest of all. Now start to uncurl, move your arms, legs, arch your body, move your head, imitating like a cat or dog coming out of slip, run your hands down your body to come back fully here and now. And the last step is very important to at this present time, date and place. So for example, now the time is 